Hey, hello everybody. Good morning. How is everyone doing? Is everyone all right? Look, as promised, today the video will be a bit different. Today I'm not going to do the normal stealth camp. Today I'm going to show you how I pick the spots that I pick, where do I choose them, and if I'm not feeling it, what do I do? All right, let's go, let's start. But first, I need to do something that I have promised myself that I was going to do for quite a few weeks now. I need to wash the van. I've cleaned it on the inside, but the outside is absolutely disgusting. So I gotta go and wash it. Come on, let's wash the van. feel like this like every time I need to wash the car I don't know which clothes to put on because I know they're gonna get wet and I don't want to ruin my clothes <sighs> yeah I know probably just me right okay now that I'm ready let's get into the van let's wash it and let's start this video let's go You know, I've got a few comments, people talking about the size of the van and how like cramped I must feel in it. I gotta tell you, man, I love it. I love my van. I wish I could just get it and you know, go and travel for like two or three months on it. Really, really, really. I really hope I could do it. Do you wanna help me? Can you subscribe? Leave a like, leave a comment? Help this channel grow? Yeah? Thank you. Now, let's go turn this, let's turn that baby on. Come on, Mr. Goo, give us a hand. Yeah, boy. First try. I love this van, I really, really love it. Okay, let's start by stating the obvious. I've never used one of those before. Um, it's one of those that you like, you get the jet wash. I'm gonna show you guys around how dirty the car is and how the machine is. I have absolutely no idea how to use this, but I mean, it's the first time for everything, right? So let's go. So that's how filthy the van is. Look how dirty. Look. Absolutely disgusting. Look. Still sand from the Sahara. From that. Look. Oh, oh, that's dirty. Let's wash this thing, shall we? Let's go. So I guess you just tap your card in there, you use the jet wash and use the foam. The instructions are there, but to be fair... To me at least, they're not very clear. But let's watch this. This actually took me but I know that the camera films about half an hour at a time and I only had three minutes left but look at the difference and the job is not perfect by any standard but look at the difference look at the difference look how gorgeous it looks now look. but this needs to be a weekly recurring thing Otherwise, it's always going to be dirty like that. But let's get out because there's some other people that want to wash their cars. I think you can see better now in the sunshine. Look how better he looks. Again, still not 100%, but 
but way better. And I'm back. So shower, then organize, clean clothes. I'm gonna give you a few tips of what I do when I go stealth camping. How do I pick my spots? I mean, some basic stuff that if it's your first time, you can sort of guide yourself with it, okay? But the main thing from this video that I want you to take away from it is just go. Get your van, get your car, whatever you would like to stealth camp on and just go adventure because if you overthink you will never do it just go get out there and enjoy let's go let's go give you guys a few tips and see how many i can give it to you let's go now one side note to all of this is that people often ask me how crazy the weather here in the uk is they see a lot of people making videos in the uk and they wonder that's how crazy it is you guys saw me washing the car today. I had a light jacket, like, it was all right. It was sort of beginning of spring. Now, the wind came in, completely turned. It's back to like four and five degrees, and that's Celsius, if you're wondering. So the winter coat, the winter jacket is back on. How mental is this? In one day. Let's go. Let's go and show you a few tips of how to start camp. Let's go. Okay, the first and most important rule for me is pack your van. Take your time to make sure that you got everything that you need. My rule is I rather have too much stuff than not enough. Okay, so pack what you think you need. It doesn't matter that you're like, oh, I have too much of this, I have too much of that. Can you fit it? Is that all right? Do you have enough space for you and the things? Then put it there. In case you need it, you use it. If you don't, you bring it back. You're gonna end up using it if it's useful, okay? But make sure you pack enough stuff, okay? Food, clothes, don't know how long you're going for, but make sure that you do. That's the first. Okay, so another tip. It's gonna sound basic, but a lot of people, maybe this is your first time, you don't know this. But make sure you pick a flat spot. If you don't have anything to put under your tires to make your van or car flat, make sure you pick a flat spot because even the slight of inclinations can mean a very bad night of sleep. So in this case here, let me show you. Look how, how it might not look like it, but the car is on a steep hill. Let me show you. That's the inclination, look. I'm gonna keep going down, and down, and then, look. Look how, how high the car is. Always try to find a flat surface to park your car or van, okay? That's another tip. Now, let's park it on a flat surface and walk around a bit. Most of the times, you're gonna manage to find a flat spot, which is what I just did now. Look, I was right up there. All I managed to do is just drive the car, and you may not see it, but there's a, the wheel at the back there, there's a bit, little elevation that makes the car flat. That's always a good point. Remember, choose a flat place. Now, another one of my gold rules, when you get to a place, walk about, make sure there's no signs saying no park is allowed. Even with my van, look how pretty he looks over there. Even in my van, that I can stealth camp almost anywhere. I mean, almost anywhere. I can park in car park, close my doors, and no one will know that I'm in there, unless I'm mm, making noises, which when I'm stealth camp, I don't. But if you have a bigger van, or if your car is not as stealthy as mine, make sure you can park. I always walk around, in this case, look how pretty this village is. Just pick the random in the middle of nowhere. Just go about, walk about, and make sure. And here, I can see that nothing says that I can't park. There's no signs or anything. And yeah, we're pretty much, pretty much all right. Um, and to be fair, it's not like it's a small village. Well, it's small actually, but it's all right. Look how handsome Mr. Good looks over there. Hi, it looks sunny, but I have two coats on. 
because it ain't it ain't it ain't warm i'm telling you that now let's walk about a bit see this beautiful place and i'll give you more tips along the way let's go Another tip that I can give you guys is respect your gut. If your gut feeling says that that place is not right, just move on. Our body has a sixth sense that you know, you kind of feel the energy of the place and you kind of feel what you should be doing and you shouldn't be doing. So if you feel that that pot doesn't connect with you just move along there's plenty of spaces doesn't matter where you are if you are in the UK if you are in New Zealand, Australia, America, Canada anywhere, Europe just make sure you respect your gut that spot doesn't suit you just move along move along and find somewhere else alright? remember that the walk I'm doing now is part of the downslink the downslink used to be a railway line that ran through West Sussex and other parts of Sussex and I think it went all the way, if I'm not wrong, went all the way to the west of the country. It's been disused since I think the 60s, if I'm not wrong. And the good thing that they did was they removed the train tracks but they kept the walk open to the public so it's mainly flat obviously because the railway had to be flat in most parts or with just a small elevation and it's open you can do a walk you can cycle you can run and it goes look it goes through the middle of the forest to people's properties and it's open to the public you can just Get your bike, if I'm not wrong, the whole thing is about 35 miles and it goes from the beach in Shoreham, Shoreham by the sea all the way, almost all the way to London so that's a cool walk to do I've done half of it on an unfortunate snowy day but my video that I have about it is on my channel in Portuguese if you want to have a look at it I'll link over here and you can go over there and watch it I'm pretty sure I put subtitles in English but if you want to go and have a look feel free to go and see it this bit that I'm doing now it goes all the way to the sea the bit that I did was halfway up to London or almost almost London obviously just because it's a nice day even though it's windy I'm not gonna do all the way down there I'm not gonna go I'm just just wanted some cool scenery to show you guys and to breathe some fresh air and to show you that spring is in full bloom look at the trees going green again yay but this video is about stealth camping it's not about hiking or trails right so let's go back to the tips I am going to walk a little bit more, show you a bit of the scenery and go back to the tips about stealth camping. By the way, this message will be to two people that I love it and I adore their channel and that I've never seen them doing this walk even though they love nature. Alex and Emma from Travel Bins. If you are in West Sussex, I'm inviting you to walk about and do the downslink with me we know we met I remember 
I know you guys down because you met so many people. You guys are some of the people that inspired me to do this. If you ever find yourself in West Sussex again, hit me up and we can walk the Downs Link together. Let's go. Now the cool thing about this trail, or walk, whatever you want to call it, is that some of the stations are still here. Some of the old stations that used to be on this line are still here. Or some of them have just a sign telling you where they used to be. This is one of them, look. The old West Greenstead station used to be here. And look, there's some cyclists there, you can walk through it. That's cool, isn't it? I'm going to do a video specifically on this walk when I do the walk halfway to the beach so the other half that I haven't done yet um, and then I'll show you guys exactly how the stations are and how it looks like but it is amazing, I'm telling you if you ever find yourself in this part of the world do this walk get a bag, get some protein bars, some water and you can go all the way to the beach, have a fish and chips and come back, let's go! This is what I mean, in some of the bigger places, they have these little like attractions that you can go and see. Look how cool, they actually have one of the trains. One of the trains that used to run on the line is over here as an information center. Look how cool. All right, just a little bit more about this because it's, it's beautiful. Look, it's literally a park. You can see the sign of the station over there. You can see the train over there. Look, and there's a tunnel over there. It's just such a cool concept. Like a uh, disused railway line in most countries will be just covered up and with like forgotten. Here, they actually made a very nice walk, very entertaining with information. Look, there were some boards everywhere telling you the story and how the, the line used to be and where they run from. They make this look, you can come here and have your picnic on a sunny day like today. That's such a nice concept, I love it. There's parking over there, so if you wanna come with your kids or with your dog, just park the car over there and go for a walk with your dog. Look, remember what I said in some places that got the platform? I'm gonna show you. After this, I promise, enough, back to the tips of how to stealth camp. But it's such a cool concept that I can't just come here and not show you guys. Look, and this is the platform of the old West Greenstead station. Look how cool. You literally feel like you're walking on the train line, on the rails, look. Because the platform is right there. Look, West Greenstead there, that's the platform. And that's the tunnel, tunnel at the back. You literally feel like walking on the rail line. <laughs> that's so cool and some of this history look platform is right there the old platform you still got a bench there look you can go up and sit if you want and there's a tunnel there the houses it's just a cool concept I love it now let's head back because we got to go back to the stealth camp tips but you know I had to show you guys this even though the wind is messing everything up Look, they even have, I didn't notice that, they even have the old style semaphore uh, signals that the station used to have. Look, look how cool. Look over there. That's the old style um, rail signals. They used to tell the train, come in, don't come in. That's so cool. Now, back to the, back to the car, back to the van back to the tips on how to stealth come. Now, they have these signs here telling you the distance to the places. Now, I've got a mile and three quarters to where the park up it is, where the van is. And to the end of the line, from here, 23 miles. You see what I told you guys about? So 23 miles 
to Guildford where the line used to end and then a, quarter, a mile and three quarters to where I parked the car. Let's go! By the way, just a quick reminder while I'm walking back to the van. If you like the content that I make, subscribe please. You have no idea how much your free subscription, because it's free for you to subscribe, helps my channel grow. It helps YouTube to suggest my channel to more and more people. The bigger the channel gets, the bigger the channel grows. So please, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what, I, what else would you guys like for me to show you around here, okay? The stealth camp, camping is mandatory, but if you'd like me to show you regions and other places, let me know, okay? Now, back to the van. Okay, and after a while, I'm back at the van. Um, I'm gonna show you something. Back to the tips, right? If I was going to stay here overnight, I think that would be a great spot. Why? Because it's a secluded parking, it's in a village, so probably at night, there's not much movement. There's a pub right down the road, so if I needed to go to the toilet, if I wanna eat something, if I wanna drink something, I can literally walk to the pub. And look how cute the spot is. Obviously, during the day, at this moment, it's currently 3.30 in the afternoon, you're gonna have more people here, obviously. But at night, I'm pretty sure this gets, this is dead. Let me show you what the spot is. As you can see, the van is right there. Look how pretty. I'm gonna open. Look how pretty it is. So the pub that I said is right over there. Look, there's beans. The walk is right over here. So you can come and do the walk and go back. So like I said, if I were going to stay over here tonight, it would be perfect. But tonight's about tips. It's about telling you guys what to do when you're looking for spots. So I'm not gonna stay here, I'm gonna move on. Mm -hmm. 